fellas, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Nintendo Switch is a huge success! It sold billions of units all over the world, and it also has some of the best games in every franchise that has put a game out for. Metroid, and Kirby, and Zelda, and Mario, and all kinds of stuff. But there's one thing the Switch can't do well. There's one series that seems to really be struggling, and that's Mario Sports Games. What's going on there? Every single Mario sports game that comes out, whether it's tennis or golf or soccer, which hurt me the most, seems to be awful and worse than even the GameCube ones. What happened to my beloved Mario sports, my cartoon sports games? Well, I found a video that maybe will shed some light. This is from Madon. It's the painful decline of Mario sports games. And I want to see what the hell's going on at Nintendo. So let's find out. Thanks, Madon. I'll drop a like. Damn. Subs? I'll push it over. Let's go. Games All right. have played a much more significant role in the Dude, average the person's like... life than you or I could have ever imagined. From golf to basketball, baseball to soccer. It's or like 43 football. minutes of this editing is like, that would take a that long time. On. I grew up a huge fan of sports games in general. Do they still make these? I don't think they make like goofy sports games anymore at all, do they? I miss that a lot. The leagues don't like it. I, <laughs> I guess Blitz... It's kind of different once you know about CTE. <laughs> once you see all the concussion stuff, it's like, oh, he, he did long-term damage to that guy's spinal column. That's not funny at all. However, Mario sports games always did things on street, a bigger though. scale. The RPG elements NBA of Mario street. Golf, building right. your dream team in Superstar Baseball, or delivering the perfect pass in Strikers, it all added this extra layer. Ta Bad game, by the way. The original Strikers, not good. Taking everything and I'll tell good you why sports. later. You see, ideally, baseball was going to be the beginning of Nintendo's very own sports franchise, where they would simply name games after their respective sport. Kind of. I love 10-yard fight. That game rules. Like golf. Ten -yard However, fight 1984's is so cool. golf was somewhat of a controversial one, as the character of Mario is said to swing both ways. And by that, I mean due to some versions of this game directly what? referring to this big jolly fellow as Mario, and some- <laughs> He looks so real. He looks like my uncle. I, that It's weird to see Mario normally proportioned. He has like a gut. But uh -huh. his real yeah. athletic debut was probably in Donkey Kong Hockey. For the fuck is this? For the Game & Watch, if that counts. But regardless of the facts, personally, our uncomfortably realistic Donkey Kong Hockey. plumber I he really made me. his cover I've never heard of in that the before. sports world. Golf. Japan course. And golf. U.S. course. And well, I mean, you know, these are... Definitely now golf with Mario. Mario. And if you like golf at home, that's how Mario. about golf on the go? Before. With the 1989 release of golf on the Game Boy. The game also included a playable Luigi, Big Peach and Daisy as caddies for the two brothers, the odd toad appearance when you hit a ball out of bounds, and who could forget a very polite Donkey Kong as <laughs> what Mario. What the fuck? He's in the game? He's huge! Was financial advisor. Why, why did he get that job? This game was a collaboration between why Nintendo's R&D 2 and HAL Laboratory. He's working? A very that's impressive his job? Developer. The Mario Sports series is a genre that Nintendo does not waste resources on themselves, but rather hands off to third-party development studios. Some you might be familiar with are HAL Laboratory, Next Level Games, or Camelot Software Plan. I, so I know HAL really well, and I know Next Level is good, very good. Well, The Last Strikers is bad. I only know Camelot for tennis. Do they do anything else? Games. Oh, golf? Oh, is it golf? It's tennis and golf. These milestones seem small compared to the big reveal on the horizon. Nintendo's biggest announcement yet. The Virtual Boy. Yeah! Designed by Nintendo engineer Dude, Gunpei honestly Yoko, though, this tennis console was crazy promised on by this. Nintendo. Go and in tennis. less than a year of release, this console had been discontinued. Okay, and go closely tennis. linked with the Virtual Boy was yes! none other than our next yes! entry, Mario's Tennis. Initially announced as Mario's Dream Tennis. Okay, I thought they were memeing with the name like Mario's Cars, but no, it is Mario's Tennis. This is his tennis. I think this is the only Virtual Boy game I had, actually. I don't think I ever bought any other games. Mario Tennis. It was good, this game man. that had started the Mario Tennis series of games it's to follow. Game. As well as and while some found it to be impressive for what it was. What is this boo render? I've never seen this before. Who the hell is that? Did he make that? AI-generated boo? What's happening here? It was here? critiqued pretty 4K boo. <laughs> this led to decisions like the Mario Party franchise being handed off to Hudson Soft and other Mario sports titles being passed to the good folks down at Camelot Software. Boo! Hashing out a deal with Camelot boo! to develop four new sports titles for the N64 and Why Game Boy. And so, in the summer of 99, Camelot I think it's delivered I don't care their about first Nintendo tennis. title. Golden Sun devs? Golden what? A bright and bold color palette complemented by over and above attention to detail. Like the T flying up when you're 
smacking balls on the green. Not to mention, we've got quite a collection of all of our favorite Nintendo mascots here, as well as characters that Nintendo and Camelot <laughs> just tried to casually sneak in like they've been here since day one. Yeah, I I remember the player characters, and I was like, are these like creative characters? Because like creative characters were big back then, but no, it was just a guy they put in there. And we're and not just talking models about are so simple charming. Upgrade. I It's weird to me that like, I feel like, because there's always this like, uh, turning back the clock on old games. And I feel like there are more PS1, like, horror games and Resident Evil types and, like, that kind of pixel art. The PS1 style is distinct. You don't think the 64 style is distinct? They all look like Beanie Babies. They're so cute. They look like little plush dolls. I this love This game them. featured Mario and 15 of his mascot pals. And the guy from you for some reason. I was watching old gameplay of this game and came across a Who comment that? that said Penn Badgley had actually voiced a character in the game. And, uh, yeah, he did. And what? Wait, is that real? The serial killer from you is a character in Mario Tennis? My bad, I didn't mean to play Alex. I was playing Alex. That was before I knew that he was a serial killer. I'm sorry, I will never play as Alex again. Also, I don't know who Alex is. Are you? Who the hell is Alex? Who is this? Is this real? Dude, I feel like I'm going fucking crazy. Am I insane? This is like that Simpsons fake character. I've never seen these before. Who the hell is that? Harry? Okay, I feel like I'm getting mandela would Bro, fuck anybody that picks Boo. Boo is banned in my house. He added into the game Dumb through the N64 bro. transfer pack and the Game Boy Color I Mario hated that Tennis. Shit. But back to the game. So Boo, why? Boo is tricky style, which is not allowed in the Coney household. I hate tricky style. The gameplay was and is still something yeah, that manages to hold up quite well. Tricky without being style packed is full of style, overbearing yeah. gimmicks or exhausting trick shots. But most importantly, this new and revised Mario Tennis introduced gaming's most beloved character oh my in god look at his early model he's so suave in so what angular both mario golf and mario tennis for the game boy color and i got in trouble for playing these in class no i think it might have been the advanced one i had a flash cart of these games are and i played this in my hidden gems to be featured in the entire oh mario god, sports series grade? packed oh god, into so both old. of the and yeah. that was the rpg was my chemistry in mario class. tennis that why you're so you dumb? star Probably, as the yeah. new rookie in town looking I did to make the RPG a name for yourself in the academy while rising your way through the ranks in this academy not My ass only can't do you gain experience points but you also gain points in which you can allocate or you could get xp skill, in the tennis speed, game spin, that's so power, cool this collaboration between nintendo and camelot seemed like a winning formula and with this in mind that meant that nintendo God, could lean harder renders. on the developers to continue to bring the magic of the mario sports series to life they needed it now more than ever given sony's massive lead in the previous generation's console war and now with microsoft entering Dude. the battle with their first generation xbox xbox sucks you're sponsored. Hey, Xbox is great right now. I mean the original Xbox. <laughs> I don't mean Xbox right now. Obviously, Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X are the best ways to play on a console. I mean the original Xbox. They learn their lesson through multiple generations. That's all. But instead of just a mediocre upgrade, Toadstool Tour aimed to ramp Everybody up the experience Everybody talks about the GameCube ones. I never played the GameCube sports Following the Okay, but are the games like... Be honest here. Are they really the best ones or is it... Literally, yes. Are you sure? Okay. Over okay. several okay. years and now multiple generations, I know the baseball the game was great. That's the only one that I know. The baseball one is content-rich game. This was a game that was well loved for its variety of game modes, but fell under some criticism for the realism featured in this game, even being compared realism? to the Tiger Woods PGA Golf series. <laughs> now, this is somewhat of a double-edged sword. The Did you guys ever hear about the? Th this is a super tangent. So when I was a kid, there was a big scandal because there was a Tiger Woods game on the PC that had a full episode of South Park in it. How did that get in there? I don't know. Uh, I think they got sued for it or something. The Christmas episode, yeah. It was on PS1 and it had Jesus first Santa. Why is that there? That's not in the game. Mario Sports Series. I thought we were talking about another Tiger Woods scandal. Yeah, did you guys hear about that one? Is is often That's criticized another one. for being too gimmick heavy and I'll leave that for items, another stream. power ups and other unnecessary. We don't elements, have the time tonight, as we'll soon find out. But at the same time, diving too deeply in. Mango Zane jump scare? What the hell is this? ...to the competitive scene what? can quickly drain a lot of the fun from the game for an audience hoping to just simply smack balls with Mario by their side. Damn! Holy! <laughs> he said you guys don't know how to have fun, you sweaty tryhards. You sweat lords? Why not have a little bit of fun every once in a while? I, I often wonder about that. I wonder if I'm in any YouTube videos without knowing about it.
Like, if I'm just out there, I was in that one Watch Mojo video that we found. Or make a desperate save. Wario, Mario... his ass is cheating. Wait, look at his ass. Oh, I love it when Wario cheats. How did he get that through regulation? The ref is right there. Power Tennis was described by many to feel like a leap forward in both gameplay and content. I do. This game I've never played, but it does look cool. Wiggler is playable? Are you serious? Release Mario. Why? <laughs> Why would I play as Wiggler when I could play Harry? What lied ahead as the sun set on the sixth console generation was a couple of the strangest things that I think Nintendo has ever done to date. Starting in 2005, I would be EA mad as hell. To Super Mario shows up to the pickup game. A couple of their games do not, as a bro. Console exclusive <laughs> Why is he allowed bonus. to do that? Now, Nintendo, weirdly enough, gave the green light and let EA and If he wasn't Mario, his ass Mario, would get laughed Luigi, off the court. Yeah, but look at his rep, though. Unknown height or weight. I love that they didn't even try. They're just like, I don't fucking know. LeBron James. I don't know like how Shaq big Mario is. Side, and maybe the Who three cares? worst angles of Nintendo. <laughs> Dude, if I'm Jason Kidd, I'm actually furious. I'm, I'd am i be so mad. I'm 6'4", 210. What do you mean I have less rep than Luigi the plumber? But in the case that that's not enough for you, <laughs> so SSX stupid. on tour for the GameCube also features that I same played this trio. game. It wasn't good. And while being absolutely hilarious, the character models just do not, not blend in well with the environment at Which all. Which made me really sad because I love SSX. When Nickelode Thank you, Secondary Gumby, for the five gifts. did that MLB The Show game, and every this game is so like funny. Just I want to play this so bad on stream. Now, the game put a new spin it's... on the classic DDR formula. Where you... Is it weird that DDR isn't like a thing anymore? You know what I mean? Probably not, right? I had the Disney one. I played the Disney one at Disney World. It's, it's weirder to me that Guitar story, Hero is dead. All while playing rhythm-based mini games along the way. You is think this there, really a game that's going to have left. you like dripping sweat clinging to the handles of your arcade machine? Jesus but if you're a fan hey, at of least they're not holding the bar, bro. Like so dripping... I used to go play Pump It Up. This might be in Ocean City, Maryland. I used to go play Pump It Up at the mall every weekend. As soon as somebody touches the bar, I hate that guy. Sweat that is clinging so to the handles of your arcade. I played this game like, on I didn't stream. even know it his body long. could move some of these ways. I don't think I Especially beat it, when did you're I? Hitting a two-step, <laughs> they'll just throw in these out-of-pocket body <laughs> mo that foolish. will suddenly see Bowser He's hit so that agile. full body 360 on the spot mid-dance battle. Just feels so strange. <laughs> you know Sluggers exactly what I'm talking about. Super Star Baseball is Mario Super Star Baseball, a game developed by Namco and published by Nintendo, was as was simple really or complex bad? as you chose you, to make it. Given a roster of 32 characters, developing the perfect team... That is huge. Th it was weird because this game had, like, synergies, right? I think I saw a post on Twitter that was, like, uh, Toad? I think everybody hates Toad. Is it Toad? There's some post on Twitter that showed all the synergies, and there's, like, a... Maybe it's Baby Mario. There's one character that's, like, a good guy that everybody hates. Has a unique swing, bat this speed, is so power, cool pitching they potential, did and a ton of other stats. So, I mean, now Damn, it's not Yoshi really runs. a surprise when peeling back just the smallest part of this iceberg that this game is now becoming a rising contender for Mario Esports. But if baseball <laughs> isn't your thing, maybe soccer will do I kind of want to watch Mario's... Baseball esports, actually. That sounds kind of fun. Strikers was a breath of fresh air in a catalog of games. It's not good. So, you guys know me. Mario Strikers Charge might be my favorite game ever made. It's in my top five. I tried playing this game because I love Strikers Charge. This game is so basic. It was something it's that so we didn't boring, even realize dude. was missing until we had it. You like Full it because contact of soccer, a it's plethora so of boring, items, super man. strikes. Everything about this game. You just, just run up to the goalie and you just keep hitting the kick button. Just did it go in? No. Oh, okay. Let me try again. No. Okay. Maybe this time? No? Okay. Wii Sports. Wii Sports. A collection Wii of five sports. sports games that was designed to get you into action fresh out of the box. And if you remember Wii Sports Stop anything like the way me. that I remember The it, hand is dirty! It's like the dirt in the fingernail, series. man. Both Wii Sports and Resort are some of the best pick up and play games available to this day. And that's exactly where the problem arises. The oh, Wii he's didn't so sad. Need mascot support anymore. Nintendo has forgotten about Mario. That's oh, not to he's say so that there sad. isn't some great Mario oh, games on man. the Wii. Some of my all time favorites landed on this car. Oh, fuck yeah. The Wii's main focus was making you Knows the main character. Stop, as the man. motion controls Never mind, I hate this fucking guy. I'm unsubscribing after this. And with Wii I'm dropping a dislike. The charge, Nintendo I hate had this video. Opted to shelf old reliable. Now, in 2007, we saw the first entry into the Mario Sports series oh, on the Wii. But a so year good. earlier, one of the most peculiar releases in the sports series had debuted with Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. I hear a lot of people talk about this. I didn't own a DS, but I hear it's good. Some I just know 
you could be a mogul, under everyone's right? radar. And I don't really blame them I've for never not heard knowing about it. Like, I, I, I've this never played it, but strange I, as it I, was, it's not that I never heard of it. I never Square hear Enix, about people talk about it unless they love like it. Yeah, there's Red Mage, Black Mage, and Red Rosalina. Is that Red Mage? To get back to the DS thing, I've never been a DS guy, and everybody thinks that I'm always like baiting or like I'm trying to get people riled up or whatever. I just, I, it was never my generation. The I just year never is 2007. Was into it. And what came to the Wii was something I don't think anyone was expecting. The two screens Only work. two I mean, years later, as a like follow it. up I... to the GameCube release of Mario Strikers, it came Mario out in the Strikers time in my Charged life where I wasn't going to play it. That said, Mario Strikers Shards, I played for the first time. I was on vacation with Mallory. This is a real story, and I've never told this before. You think I'm a man child? I've got a story for you. Mario Strikers Charge came out. When uh, Mal and I went to South Carolina with the rest of her family to visit her real dad for the first time. She had never met her real dad. We went to South Carolina, and uh, this game came out, and I made her grandfather drive us to GameStop. And I bought this game because I was so excited for it, and I kept waking up. Uh, I kept staying up and playing it until like 4 a.m. <laughs> I love this fucking game. Not online, by the way. Not online, because we were at a hotel. There's no Wi-Fi or anything. I was playing the CPU in the f in the flower cup, in the mushroom cup, in the star cup. Yeah, so we met her dad for the first time, and they had an emotional moment, you know, and we go back to the hotel, and her and I talked about it for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I beat the cup, and I got gold, and I got the golden foot. I got the gold, I got the cup, and the golden foot award, so... Landed on yeah, yeah I've, we both won that week, you know? <laughs> the characters' personalities are up to an entirely new level. It's Cap so good. Listen, if you played this game, you would understand. I was so like excited for this game. That if and it was so good, man. You'll often pick up and get the ball across. It's However, so fucking good. this game good. goes a step further with the character development. Yes. It's hard to even go back to other Mario <laughs> sports games once you've played this series. Like, who gives a fuck about tennis? I want more of this! Yeah! And that's exactly what we game. were gonna get until Nintendo came in and ruined everything. You see, the best Mario sports game was potentially one that none of us ever got to play. Next Level what Games, Peach the sports doing game, down here? was potentially one that But make the basket! She's making money! You're a princess! <laughs> Next Level She's caking up! Heading out the charge. wallet for what? Had an idea to bring forward Super Mario Spikers. This was a game that was a I'm mix not of both wrestling game. and volleyball. Brought forward I'm not playing. Everybody talks like about the game that could have existed. Spikers initially the volleyball game that could I'm not playing the fucking volleyball game. Game. However, as development progressed, the team decided <laughs> to implement mechanics based upon wrestling. Are Next these? level games tried is to that wait, is that real? Is that from the That doesn't seem like it fits Yoshi's brand. Those are real test animations. If I was Miyamoto, I would cry on the spot. They couldn't show that to Nintendo because Miyamoto wept openly. Why did the Yoshi do that? newly gained abilities from working on a canceled WWE game. And although we have some animations amazing. and stages to go off of, the Thank gameplay you, for this game is ultimately a mystery. However, we do know that <laughs> upon seeing it, Nintendo deemed that the- I need to watch these animations. I don't have time tonight, but I, I gotta watch these tomorrow. I've never seen them. Violence was I've too never realistic seen these. compared to other games. Too Therefore, realistic. production ceased in 2007 this is when a Sega made a transition. Game, to a third-party developer, and this found friendship Ew. meant that we were now about to have the longtime rivalry why are these two of Mario hanging and out, Sonic. And why are they doing the sports Olympic together? Games. What sport would Mario possibly win? Long jumping. Which on Never paper mind. seemed like a great idea, Never and in terms <laughs> of dumb questions, sure. agreeing to bring the franchise to every summer and winter Olympics over oh the next nine God. years. Oh, lucky metal! This isn't fair. Sonic is barely fair. How are you introducing a fucking robot? But, like, come on. This series did give us a render of Waluigi with a gun. So, uh, do with that what you wish. There's guns at the Olympics? I thought it was, like, skeet shooting or, like, archery. Like a revolver? And when Nintendo announced the sequel, it gave fans of Superstar Baseball a reason to be excited. I, I mean, think what I could played possibly this go better than like these motion one. controls and baseball? But the same traditional gameplay oh, left it just it feeling it. like I not see. much had <laughs> K really rules in it? Now, was this a bad thing? Well, for those who feeling Why like is K-Rule butt-ass naked? What is he doing here? 
much had really changed. Put on some now, clothes, was this dude. They stole his belly plate. Not at all. <laughs> he yeah. didn't appear in a game for a single year. For uh, he didn't appear in a single game for 15 years, and then he did this. Flick controls just popped up in the, the outfield. To feel almost began to fall brick by brick. <laughs> God With damn! Each new I'm not racing. Followed, Yoshi, it still Jesus. did sort of feel like we were his on a downward running. trend in terms of quality. Pretty Spending decent. time between four but different sports. But it looks so like leaves. it's so split up. Like if I guess it's every game that didn't have a real sport. So it's basketball, hockey, volleyball. The fuck is that ball? Rugby? What? Dodgeball? That. You with four experiences there. The bottom of the all right, I guess. And Tony was probably the last kid picked for dodgeball. And Literally, no. I was very good up, at catching. Camelot ran in there with their My catching skills were widely documented. Skills. Immediately, players were met with Everybody a wave knew I was of disillusionment. Nice what the fuck is this? What is that bottom screen action? Which, I mean, wasn't terrible, right? It was still tennis, just it with a lot more fun. disappointment. The way that this <laughs> game had Mario Mario collectibles was also Where did that some... come from? Is that real? When did Nintendo make a sad Mario render? I fucking was hate a huge that render. Letdown in itself. This is the best Mario Golf game. It got years worth of DLC. That, to be honest... On the DS? The DS is such a weird system to me, because I, to me it never existed. Because I had no interest in playing like mobile games. Mario 3DS mods banned them too. Mobile golf was coming to a 3DS. Near it's you. a DS. I hate it when people say that 3DS and DS are different. They're not. It's like Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Shut the fuck up. It's the same system. Those are dreams. we and Wii U different? Yes. Obviously. Just I'm about... not baiting. I'm not. I'm serious. I probably just don't know enough about DS. But DS and 3DS to me look the exact same. Three Big ass later, toad. With the uh -oh. appearance of Mario Tennis Watch out. Ultra Smash. Big ass However, Mario, Mario too. Tennis, and while the game isn't good, the lack of content in itself is a bizarre issue. Like, there's one singular court. Virtually one game mode. and it... There's one court? An extremely... And they use the old renders. That's so weird. Was Nintendo just really, really poor? <laughs> what happened to Nintendo's money from the Wii? Character Look at that Donkey Kong render, man! Roster. This was Nintendo more was devastated. I, this is awful. But it it's weird to look at like the Wii U UI. Because I played Mario Party 10 when I did the Party 1 stream. And like the Wii U, I don't even know how to explain it. The creative direction on the Wii U, like this font and these weird blocky menus is so distinct and weird. Sterile? Yeah, kind of. I think they were going the Apple direction. Baseball, soccer, tennis, golf. And oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me with this! Horses, Mario Sports superstars, not Mario's only horses. utilized Nintendo's amiibo figures like Ultra Super Smash Mario's games, but horses. it also introduced its own unique line of amiibo cards. The assets used <laughs> in the cards were existing models taken from other hey, games. Hey, look at this! Really <laughs> Bowser, get your ass on that horse! No, I don't want to. Get on the horse, Bowser. What if we got you a really mean horse? Like you're mean, a really mean. No. I don't want to ride the horse. As a reminder to the level of laziness that we were experiencing. <laughs> Aww. He's cute. And if there was any two games that we could rely on to finally dig our way out of this, it was going to be the classic Mario Tennis and Mario Golf. I'm so sad that these games just... They're just bubblegum. These like, games they just up come out a and then you play them. Even dating just, back to 2004, this last. was being openly discussed. I had Nintendo fun playing Aces with friends. They're probably more fun if you're a kid playing with your friends at like a house or something. 2018's Mario Tennis 8. It's like a fighting game. Visually you break the racket. With what it's is a fighting game. Step up. This game is I was so annoyed by the marketing. Considered to be a bad game, especially if we're talking Mario Sports here. Not by a long shot. <laughs> the only disappointing part here is that it almost feels as if Mario Tennis Ace has found a different and new way to fail. Once you've completed <laughs> the fun, but yeah. once you've completed yeah. what there is to complete. There isn't really much to keep you here. Then came the 2021 Camelot collaboration, presenting us with a new entry. Were there balance patches? I remember Waluigi being OP. Junior was the bad one. Bowser Jr. broke the game. But yes, there were patches. They nerfed Junior. In the Mario Golf series. There was a but meta? This... Oh my god, yes. Yes, absolutely. Being greeted by two courses was not the best look. And of course, this game fell under some heavy criticism. I was in a tournament for Although this game. Although, unlike Aces, with Grand Poo Bear. I didn't I do very good. And while the game did add I hate Mario Golf. via update, therefore, when I heard that one of my all-time favorites would be hitting the Switch, I genuinely didn't care. And upon purchasing it... I cared a lot! And, and then it was fucking bad, man! I took a fucking PTO day for that game. It was so weird that they uh, announced like the whole point was the Battle League, which was the ranked mode, and then it didn't turn on for a week. 
I'll never forget that. They're like, yeah, the big thing is a battle league, and you get to play rank with your friends and climb up the ladder. The ladder's not on uh, uh, for uh, one week until the game comes out, and then when it turned on, nobody was playing anymore. Fans also, this shit is mad confusing. Who are solely in Red Waluigi pisses me off. There's got to be a better way to do this. I hate Red Waluigi. I hate Red Wario, and I hate Red Luigi. I don't like that. Tall Mario. The final piece of salt in this wound is that these games are continuously hitting ridiculously high sales numbers, despite yeah. the immense lack of content. But at the very least, some form of change is in order for the sports series to regain the magic it once had. Damn, and the video just ends there. No call to action, no telling people to subscribe, none of it. I guess that's why we're 3K. Hey, subscribe to this guy. I'm going to post the link. Here you go. I don't know. I feel like these games, I don't know if it's going to change. You would hope so, but I. Uh, it's weird that Mario Sports got left behind. 